the sampling distribution of P1 minus P2 bar is approximated by. So we know that proportions also can be approximated by normal distribution. Now for the third one, you have two population situation and all the data is given. I'll write down all the steps. So step one, so means are equal or mu1 is not equal to mu2. So at later stage, it says 5%, so alpha is 0 0.05. Third one, because sigmas are known, we use Z distribution. And negative 3 is somewhere here. We need to find this area. So this will be. And because uh, this is a two-tailed test, p-value equals two times. So now if you look at the questions one by one, number three, the point estimate for the difference between the means. So 82 minus 88 equals negative six. Test statistic, so that we got negative three. P value so that we got 0028. What is the conclusion? So because we reject H0 that means this is not true and this is true which means mu1 is not equal to mu2. So there's a statistically significant difference in the final average final examination scores between the two classes. In order not to violate requirements necessary to use chi-square distribution, each expected frequency in goodness of fit test must be, we need at least five degrees of freedom for contingency table with 10 rows and 11 columns. So that will be 10 minus one times 11 minus one, which is 90. So D is the correct answer. So number nine, the expected number of freshmen is 90. Expected frequency of seniors. Calculate the test statistic 1.66. This is the test statistic. So 0.65 is greater than number 13. P equals 0.65 and alpha equals 0.05. So if advertising changes by $1, then because you have four, Y will change by four, but Y is in thousands. So in terms of that, Y will change $4,000. So this will be the correct answer. So if R square equals one, so R square will be one when you have X and Y all exactly on the same line, all the dots are exactly on the same straight line, then only R square is one. And this will happen when there is no error. The sum of squares due to error is zero. If all points lie on the line, then coefficient of determination, so just now we said it is R square is one. In a regression analysis, you have SST, SSE. R square equals SSR divided by SST. So SSR will be 500 minus 300. So this is 200 divided by 500. In regression analysis, dependent variable is measured in dollars. Independent, it can be any units.